Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. How do you feel today? How do you feel? Do you feel great? Do you feel bad? Do you feel sad? Do you feel angry? How do you feel tonight? Very, very sad. Very sad. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? El clima. ¿Cómo se dice clima, teacher? Oh, the weather. The weather. weather. Oh, because of the, the weather. weather. <laughs> okay. And this weather reminds us of many things. Este clima nos recuerda muchas cosas. Nos trae muchos recuerdos. Y hello, Ana María. Hello, Juliana. Hello, Elias. Julian. Hello, Welcome to the class. How do you feel tonight? Oh, I feel great. Oh, excellent. Elias feels great. And Ana María, how do you feel tonight? Thank you, teacher. <laughs> ah, okay, perfect. You are fine. Nice. <laughs> and Julian, how do you feel tonight? Con todo, teacher. Okay, excellent. I'm excellent. Perfect, Julian. Thank you. Y Juliana Gómez, good evening. Welcome to the class. How do you feel tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm tired. I'm oh, asleep. Oh, she is tired and asleep and sleepy too. And okay, it's a pleasure to see you again tonight. Thank you for your punctuality. Thank you for being here with me. So in yesterday class, we were studying the going to rent. The how to make sentences to speak about the future things, how to speak about plans. So plans that we had for our next birthday, for the next celebration, like Christmas, New Year's, St. Valentine's Day. So tonight we're going to start this section number two. Vamos a comenzar la sección número dos de la plataforma. So do you have any question about the platform exercises? Do you have questions, problems in the platform? No, teacher. Not no, teacher. No, no, okay, perfect then. Not there. No, okay, so let's start with tonight's class. So welcome, Elena, Victoria, Catherine. Yo tengo una duda, teacher. Tell me, Julián. Fíjese que hoy tarde me escribió Carla, la teacher, y este, en la plataforma ya le aparece que no llevo nada de avance y yo casi termino la sección 2. Y a ella me, no le parece nada de avance, pero, pero sí, ya casi termino la sección 2. Oh, can you please send me some screenshot? ¿Puede tomar algunas capturas de pantalla para ver? La voy a compartir en el grupo ahí ahorita. Si quiere el WhatsApp personal, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. To decide, ok. So, just for you to remember, I'm going to show you where you can see your progress. Les voy a mostrar dónde pueden ver su progreso. So this is the platform. So in this progress or progress, right? you are going to read this on your platform. In your platform profile, you click here in progress and, and you are going to see this, right? You are going to watch this graph. Ya reviso acá, Julia. Sí, teacher, ya, ya revisé ahí y ahí tengo progreso. Pero ah, ella me envió un enlace, ella me envió hoy tarde este, por correo y en esa no tenía nada de progreso. Pero la que me enviaron el 3 de noviembre, sí, de ahí es donde yo he estado trabajando en ese correo. Entonces probablemente tenga dos cuentas. It could be, right? Hay una, hay una que sí en la que se ha estado trabajando y probablemente la que le asignaron después no pero don't ah, worry about that ser. bueno me manda su nombre completo su correo por favor y los screenshots please that you are working on the platform 
Any other question about the platform? Any problem? Today we're going to start this section, section number two. ¿Quién ya terminó la sección número uno? Los ejercicios de la sección número uno. Have you already finished them? Me, teacher. Ok, excelente. Congratulations, then. Congratulations for the one. Only dos, teacher. Oh, excellent. Very good job. So you are doing a great job. Teacher, voy en la sección cuatro. Ah, interesting. You are doing so fast. Section cuatro. Section number four. Perfect. Congratulations, then. No se preocupen. Este fin de semana nos alcanzamos todos, ¿verdad? Okay. De un solo, como decimos, right? So we are going to complete these exercises. So you need to complete them. Well, if you don't have any other question about this, let's start with tonight's class. Uh, I have a chat here. Sarah Elizabeth, yes. Ah, okay, Sarah, congratulations then. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's start with tonight's class then. I'm going to share my screen with you. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, okay, excellent. Yes, Thank you. Tonight we're going to study this topic. The topic is what's the matter? What's the matter? Do you know the meaning of that question? What's the matter? It means, ¿cuál es el problema? ¿Qué sucede? What's the matter? What's the matter? So, welcome to your English class. This is virtual session number four. Welcome. Let's start tonight with this. Do you remember this vocabulary? Body parts. Do you remember about the body parts? Which one do you remember? The cuales se acuerdan as parte del cuerpo? Body parts. Hair, eyes, nose. Leg. Leg, okay, nose. perfect. Mouth. Mouth, okay, mouth. mouth. So let's fingers. fingers, okay, dedos, fingers. So let's start with the body parts. Tonight we are going to learn about these. Oh, where are they? Here we go. Just a second. Okay, let's start with this part. We have head, eye, yep. he, ear, nose. Head, eye, ear, and nose. In this part, cabeza, ojo, um, oído, oreja, and nariz, right? Ear, nose. So in this other section, we have back, shoulder, chest, stomach. Back, shoulder, chest, and stomach. There is a new word for you here. What is the back? What is the meaning of back, for example? Espalda. Yes, you're right. Shoulder. What about shoulder? Hombro. Chest. What's the meaning of chest? Pecho. Yes, you're right. Pecho. Stomach. Estomago. Let's see the other section. We have thumb, thumb, hand, finger. What is this one? Yes, you're right. It's the dedo pulgar. Thumb. A hand. Mano. Mano. Finger. Dedo. Dedo. Okay, excellent. Let's see the next part. Leg, knee, and ankle. Leg, knee, ankle. What's the meaning of leg? Knee. 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 Rodilla. Rodilla. And ankle? Tobillo. 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 Okay, let's go with the other section. We have here mouth, tooth, and teeth. And also chin. What's the meaning of tooth and teeth? Diente. 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 Okay, excellent. So tooth, we are talking about one. 
un diente en teeth, dientes. Dientes. Plural. Mouth, boca. Chin uh -huh. es la barbilla, ¿verdad? Chin. Greased, greased. Greased. Es muñeca. La muñeca Teacher. de la mano. Yes. ¿Cómo dijo que es dientes? Teach, como, como, como iniciando teacher. No, tif. 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 Como con tif. F. Tif. Yes. Tif. 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 Tuf. Tif. And the other one is chin. Then we have grease, arm, and elbow. Um, arm, what's the meaning of arm? Brazo. Brazo. Greased, es la muñeca de la mano. It's this part of the hand, this is the grease. Then we have the arm, el brazo, and here we have the elbow. Then we have throat, throat, neck. Mm -hmm. Throat and neck. And finally, finally we have this. Foot. Oh, the meaning is garganta y cuello. Throat and neck. Then we have foot, feet. Foot, feet. Toe and toes. Toe, toes. What's the meaning of foot? Pies y pies. Y pies, muy bien. Toe. Dedo y dedos, creo. Dedo del pie y dedos del pie. Muy bien. So, fingers son los dedos de la mano y toes, dedos del pie. Okay. Uh, volunteer, please to read the first four words in this new vocabulary. The first four body parts. Who wants to read them? Me, teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Head, eyes, ear, nose. Excellent. The following four body parts, who wants to read them? Back. Back. Oh, perdón. Ana Maria, can you please? Okay. Back, shoulder, chest, stomach. Thank you very much. Excellent. Back, shoulder, chest, stomach. Very good. The next three, who wants to read the next three? Any volunteer tonight? Help me with this, please. Thank you. Hand, hand, finger. Thank you. Thank you. Thumb, hand, and finger. Perfect. Let's see the next one. Who wants to read the next one? Nobody wants. Me, teacher. Thank you. Two, three, chin. Excellent. Mouth, tooth, teeth, and chin. Perfect. The next three, please. Chin. Chin is el mentón. Mentón o barbilla. It's this part. Gracias. Okay. The next, please. Me. me. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Thank you, Leah. Please. Arm, elbow. Thank you, Grace. Arm and elbow. Thank you, Leah. Excellent job. And the last one are throat, neck, foot, feet, feet, toe, and toes. Let's continue with the next. When we're speaking about our body parts, we can use these and these. So let's see, for example, this is my head. This is my head. These are my eyes. This is my chest. These are my shoulder. These are my shoulders. This is my nose. These are my fingers. This is my mouth. These are my elbows. This is my neck. So if it is in singular, we use this. This is my head. 
If it is plural, we are going to use these are my eyes. So the pronunciation, this, this in singular is uh, un poco más rápido. It's faster, so we say, this is my heart. In this one, we say, these are my eyes. So the E is a little bit longer. So this, this, these are my eyes. Anyone here to practice the first four sentences? Who wants to read the, four, the first four sentences? Me, teacher. Thank teacher. you very much. Thank you, Bon. Uh, this is my head. Uh, these are my eyes. This is my chest. These are my shoulders. Thank you very much. Do you have a question? Teacher, ¿qué significa chef? Chef. Chess. This is my chest. Uh -huh. Este es mi pecho. This is my chest. Oh, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for your question. Uh, these are my shoulders porque se refiere a los dos hombros, ¿verdad? Yes, these are my shoulders. So you say bow, bow shoulder. These are my shoulder. Estos son mis hombros. These are my shoulder. This is my nose. This is my nose. These are my finger. This is my mouth. These are my elbows. And this is my neck. So we are going to use this and also this. This for singular and this for plural. So do you have any question about this? Questions, questions? No teacher. Okay, so let's see. Ana Yancy, can you choose one of your classmates, please? Escoja uno de sus compañeros, please, Ana Yancy. Elias. Elias, okay, thank you. Elias, can you please read all these sentences, please? Toda. Yes. Okay. This is my head. These are my eyes. This is my chest. This are my shoulders. This is my nose. These are my fingers. This is my mouth. These are my elbows. This is my neck. Okay, excellent, excellent job. Thank you, Elias. Yes, this one, eyes. These uh, eyes. are my eyes. And shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Question, teacher. Yes, tell me what is your question. De las dos formas se pronuncia igual, teacher. Which one? This and no, this. Oh. oh, it's this and these. This this. this this el primero es como más rápido ¿verdad? this is my head el otro la i es un poquito larga y dice this these are my eyes this this this, this and this so is it clear julian yes it Okay, perfect. Then let's go with the next team. Tonight we're going to learn about this. Some birds smell, touch, taste, have to hear, have, and see. What's the meaning of the smell? Do you know the meaning of the bird smell? No. Smell is like... I smell with my nose. No. Okay, that is the right answer. I smell with my nose. Okay, yo huelo con mi nariz. But I smell with my nose. So I touch with my... Hands. Okay, excellent. I touch with my hands. I taste... I taste... 
And you say, mmm, delicious. My taste with my tongue. I taste with my tongue. I had five in my hand. Finger. Fingers. Fingers. Excellent. Finger. I have five fingers in my hand. I chew with my. Chew is like. I chew with my. Oh, with my teeth. Teeth. With my teeth, right? I chew with my teeth or with my mouth, right? My mouth too. A chew is masticar. I chew with my teeth. Chew. And I hear with my. I, I hear with my ears. Yeah. Ears. ears. I had five in my foot. What is the body part? I have five. I have my five. Toes. Toes. Excellent. I have five toes in my foot. Perfect. Let's see number A. I see with my. I'm sorry. Hi. I, <laughs> I see with my eyes. So very good. I smell with my nose. I touch with my hands. I taste with my tongue. I had five fingers in my hand. I chew with my teeth. I hear with my ears. I have five toes in my foot and I see with my eyes. Who wants to read the first two sentences? Any volunteer? Thank you, Elena, and then Catherine. I smile while my nose. I touch while my hand. Catherine, I please. Was, okay. I touch. I touch. with taste. my tongue. I date with my tongue. I have five fingers. In my hand. Thank you. Any other volunteer to read five and six sentences? Me teacher. Thank you. You can start. I tell with my teeth. I hear with my ears. Thank you. Chew. I chew with my teeth. I chew. I chew with my teeth. Sit. Okay. <laughs> teeth. 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 Okay. okay, thank you very much. And the last two, who wants to read seven and eight? Me, seven. teacher. Thank you, Julian. I have five tools in my foot. I see with my eyes. Okay, thank you. So, Ana Yancy, can you please read two sentences? Choose whatever you want. Uh, no, teacher. Uh, seven and eight, please, Anna Yancy. Hello. Perdón. I have five tooth in my foot. I sit with my eyes. Thank you very much. My, I see with my eyes. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So don't forget about this bird, smell, touch, taste, eh, see, right? The five senses, eh, those cinco sentidos, bueno, smell, touch, taste, hear, and see. They are the five senses, those cinco sentidos. So let's go with the next. Tonight we're also learned about this one, common illnesses. ¿Cuáles son algunas enfermedades comunes de las que padecemos? Resfriado. Ok, excelente. Un resfriado. Dolor de cabeza. Dolor de cabeza, muy bien. Dolor de espalda. Backache, yes. yes. Diarrea. Stomach. Stomach ache. Diarrea. A broken arm. Oh, a broken arm too. Fracturarse un brazo. Ah, es común, ¿verdad? Más que todo en los niños que se rompan un brazo, una pierna. Okay, so let's start with this. A cold. Oh. The, 
A cold es un resfriado. A cold. De flu. De gripe. De flu. A headache. Headache. Ok, ya se secó. Ok, headache. Headache. Toothache. Toothache. A fever. A cough. A headache. Headache es dolor de cabeza. Toothache. Dolor de muelas. A fever. Fiebre. A cough. La tos. Uh, can you please turn off your microphone for a minute, please? Después de dolor de cabeza, ¿cuál dijo, teacher? Toothache. Toothache. Dolor de muelas. Toothache. Toothache. A fever. A cough. A rash. A broken arm. A una fiebre. Una tos. A rash, una alergia, a broken arm, un brazo roto, stomach ache, stomach ache, eh, dolor de estómago, an earache, dolor de oído, back ache, dolor de, dolor de espalda, de espalda. A diarrea, diarrea, a vomit, vomito, a sore throat. This is ardor en la garganta o infección en la garganta. A sore throat. A sore shoulder. Dolor en los músculos. A sore shoulder. And a broken leg. Una pierna. These are common illnesses. Enfermedades que padecemos. ¿verdad? Algunos todos los días. Right? Like an stomach ache, an earache, a backache. Um, Cough, toothache. Uh, let's see. De ¿Cuáles de estas enfermedades ha sufrido usted, Sara Elizabeth? Um, creería que todas, porque hasta ya me he roto una pierna jugando fútbol. Oh, eh, lo más común son las. Sí, creo que todo, porque cuando la compré, <risa> <risa> pues, okay. o alguna infección. Creo que bueno, todo. Bueno, con que no le hayan dado juntas, suficiente. <risa> <risa> algunas. <risa> algunas veces sí, right. Oh, ok, I'm so sorry to hear that. Eh, Julián, what about you? A cold, the flu, a headache. A touch, touch, a fever, a rash, a broken arm, a stomach calm. <laughs> Todo stomach ache. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Almost all of them. Almost all of them. Okay. And which one do you think is the worst illness? ¿Cuál es la peor de todas estas? Uh, a, a touch, hatch, como es, de muelas. Toothache. 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 Solo escucharla, ya sentía que me dolía. <laughs> ok, that is terrible. Right? A toothache is terrible. Uh, any other? And what is the most common? What is the most common? ¿Cuál es la más común de todas ellas? Which is the most common? I had it. Headache, a headache, the flu. Okay. Uh, but now when you it's have so much. Flu, oh, a stomach ache, a stomach ache. Now vomit. you vomit too, a vomit too. So don't forget about this vocabulary. When we are talking about these illnesses, we are going to use the bad habit. Para decir, yo tengo, I have a cold, I have the flu, I have a headache, I have toothache, I have a fever. So let's see the next information. Just a second. 
Well, look at this small conversation and we are going to look some example of this. So, hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why, what's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's, that's too bad. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. So what is this conversation about? What are they talking about? Kenichi yes. has what's the matter? Okay, about well, what's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema con Kenichi? Que tiene dolor de cabeza. Tiene dolor de cabeza y dolor de estómago. Ah, um, okay. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, thank you very much. So, this is... Eh, hey, Kenichi, how are you? Hola, Kenichi, ¿cómo estás? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. No estoy tan bien, en realidad. Why? What's the matter? ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál es el problema? Well, I have a headache and a backache. I have a headache en la backache. Eh, tengo dolor de cabeza y dolor de backache. Espalda. 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 Y dice Brian, maybe you have the flu. Podría ser que tú tengas gripe. Gripe. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. What is the meaning of homesick? What's the meaning of homesick? Nostálgico. I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Yo creo que me siento un poco nostálgico por Japón. That's too bad. Eso está muy mal. But maybe I can help. Pero yo podría ayudarte. Let's have a lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Almorcemos en el restaurante japonés nuevo. That's a great ah. idea. That's a great idea. Esa es una grandiosa idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Thank you, Brian. Ya me siento mejor. I feel better already. So any, any new vocabulary? Any new word in this small conversation? No new vocabulary, then I need to volunteer. So we are going to choose Miriam and also Maria Luz de Nieto. Okay, okay. Maria Luz, you are going to be Brian, so you can start. Okay. Hey, Kenneth, how are you? Oh, I am not so good actually. Fine. What uh, ma matter? Well, I have a, a health and back. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but Maybe I can help. Okay, let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Thanks a lot, Judith. An excellent job. Just in this party, headache. Headache. Backache. 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 Excellent. Uh, two volunteers. I need two volunteers. Who wants to participate? Me. Juliana and 
Juliana en... Juliana en... Juliana and Catherine and then Elias. So Juliana, you are Brian and Catherine, you are going to be Kenichi. You can start. Okay. Hey, hey Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I am not so good, actually. Why? What the matter? Well, I have a hit, hit it. Um, back eight maybe you have the flu no i can just feel i little homesick for japan that's too bad but maybe i can help let's have a lunch at that new japanese restaurant that's a great idea thanks Brian, I feel better already. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job. Just again, this morning, headache, headache, headache. backache, backache. backache. And the thing is, other one, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. That's a okay. great idea. Okay, Elias and another volunteer, Elias Teacher. and... Nancy. Okay, Elias and Anayansi, please. Elias, you are going to be Brian, and Anayansi, you are going to be Kenichi at this time to practice. So you can start, please. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I am not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Where I have a picture and a picture. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. Guys, I guess you guys. Thank you, Brian. I feel better every. Okay, thank you very much. You did an excellent job. It was almost perfect. Thanks a lot. So these were actually, I'm not so good, actually. Actually, and also already. I feel better already. I feel better already. So you don't have any other question? No question in this part? No, no teacher. Question. No teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's continue then. Uh, let's see, we have two options to ask ¿Cómo se sienten las personas? Right? And how are you is when, and the other, the other one is how do you feel? How are you? How do you feel? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo te sientes? How are you? How do you feel? So how can we answer this question? Well, if the answer is positive, you say I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm great, I'm terrific, I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm terrific. How are you? I'm fantastic. If the answer is negative, you can say I'm sick, I'm awful, I'm terrible, I'm miserable. So negative answer, negative objective to answer this question. How are you? I'm sick, I'm awful, I'm terrible, I'm miserable. Estoy enfermo, estoy muy mal, very bad. I'm terrible, estoy terrible, I'm miserable. And then the other question is, how do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? How do you feel tonight? And you say, I feel great. I feel fantastic. And if the answer is negative, you say, I don't feel well. I feel sick. I feel terrible. I feel miserable. So let's make a practice. Choose one of these when Yvonne Guevara, how are you? Sorry. Uh, the meaning of terrific and awful. Oh, give me a second. This one. Terrific. Terrific, terrific means very good. I'm very good. Okay. I'm terrific. Very good. 
Y awful. Awful, very bad. Muy mal. Okay. I'm thank awful. Estoy muy mal. Okay, thank you. Okay. So let's start with Yvonne. How are you? Choose one of these ones. I am fine, teacher. Thanks a lot. Let's see, Elias, how are you? I am great. Miriam, how do you feel? Your microphone is off. Turn on your microphone. I, I feel great. I feel great. Excellent. Maria Luz, how do you feel? I feel fantastic. Excellent. Brenda, how are I am you? Fantastic. I'm fantastic. Or oh, I feel fantastic. Brenda, how do you feel? I feel great. Great. I feel great. great. Okay, thank you. Julian, how are you? I am fantastic. Okay, Juliana, how do you feel? I feel great. Elena, how do you feel? I feel fantastic. Vanessa, how are you? Carla Vanessa, how are you? I feel great. Victoria, how do you feel? I feel great. Ana Maria, how are you? I'm great. Oh, you are great. Excellent. So, so Veda, how do you feel? I feel great. Hey, Catherine, how are you? I am fantastic. Okay, excellent. So can you see? Uh, thanks God, everyone is good, right? Nobody say I'm sick, I'm awful, I'm terrible, I'm miserable. So nobody say that, right? So everyone is good. Nice. Nadie se siente mal el día de hoy. Perfect. Que así I don't feel well, días. teacher. Es, oh. No me siento muy bien. No me siento bien. I don't feel well. I feel sick. Me siento enfermo. I feel terrible. Me siento terrible. And I feel miserable. Me siento muy mal. So now teacher. let's see. Yes. Una pregunta. ¿Es correcto? Responder cuando alguien le preguntan cómo estás, es correcto contestar very well. Uh, yes, you can say that very well, muy bien. Okay. Very well, thanks. You say very well. Ayer de día, ¿verdad? Hello. Ayer de día, ¿dónde está la compañera? Mm, ah, bueno. sí, ya amaneció aquí. <laughs> ah, ok. Tiene buena iluminación, pero bueno. Now, let's see. Eh, cuando alguien le dice, I'm sick, yo estoy enfermo, ¿qué pregunta usted? Cuando alguien le dice, estoy enfermo. What's the matter? Ok, excellent. We are going to use what's the matter. Tenemos dos opciones para preguntar. Eh, cuando alguien le dice, me siento mal, estoy enfermo, me siento terrible, yo dice, why, what happened? ¿Qué sucede? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema? Then we can use this. What's the matter? And what's wrong? What's the matter? O what's wrong? We can use both of them. What's the matter? What's wrong? And then la persona responde, well, I have a headache, headache and a backache. I have a headache and a backache. I have a cold. I have the flu. I have a stomach ache. Uh, I feel dizzy. I feel homesick, I don't feel good, I feel sick. So we can answer this question in this way. What's the matter? Y empieza a explicar, ¿verdad? Para decir eso, vamos a utilizar el verbo have. I have a headache, I have a backache, I have a cold, I have the flu, I have a stomachache, I feel dizzy. Me siento mareado. I feel homesick. Me siento nostálgico. I don't feel good. No me siento bien. I feel sick. Me siento enfermo. 
So what's the matter in what's grown? Let's see the next thing. So let's practice in this small conversation. Conversation number one. Hi, how are you? I'm awful. What's the matter? I have a stomach ache and diarrhea. Second conversation. Hello, how do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache, headache and I feel dizzy. So to volunteer to practice the first small conversation, who wants to practice at this time? If no, I'm going to pick someone. Any volunteer? Anna. Anna and? Elia. Anna and Elias, please, in the first conversation. And then Anna Yancy in the second one. You can start, please. Hi, how are you? I'm hopeful. What's the matter? I have a stomachache and diarrhea. Thank you very much. So what, what's the matter? What's the matter? I have a stomach ache and diarrhea. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Anna Yancy and in the second conversation. My teacher. Thank you, Juliana. Anna Yancy and Juliana. Hello. What do you think? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache and I feel dizzy. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Excellent job. Any other volunteer to practice in these two a small conversation? Me teacher, so me teacher. Soveda and Elena, please. And ambas conversaciones, please. Both the conversation, both of them. Hi, how are you? I am awful. What's the matter? I have a stomachache and diarrhea. Hello, how do you feel? I don't feel well. What's the wrong? I have a terrible headache and I feel dizzy. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job. So what, what's wrong? Headache, headache. Headache. Stomachache, stomachache. Stomachache, okay. Okay, perfect. So let's see the next. In the next part, we are going to listen. So can you listen? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, okay. Just a second. Okay, just a second. Okay, let me know if you can see. Page 80, We're exercise going. four, listening. I have a headache, part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Page 80. Okay, now can you listen? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. Let's, let's listen to the first conversation. Here we go. Listen this. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Okay, what's the matter with him in the first conversation? What's the matter with him? He has, he has cold. He has cold. Yeah. He has cold. And sore throat. Headache. And okay. And sore throat. Excellent. He has a headache. He has a cold. And he has a sore throat. He has. He has a sore throat. Throat. Sore throat. 
Let's see the second conversation. Listen. Two. Ow! Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Okay, what's the matter with hair? Uh, her back and back and her elbow. Her elbow. Back and boy. It's terrible. It's terrible. Feel terrible. Okay, her back and her elbow feel terrible. Uh, se cayó, ¿verdad? Según lo que se escucha, se cayó de unas escaleras. ¿Les ha sucedido? No. 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 Yes, teacher. Ah, oh, ok. I'm I sorry. Have, I broke my oh, arm. Oh, you have a broken arm. Yes. Yes, ok. I'm sorry to hear that. So, listen, the third conversation. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Here, have an ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? Dolor de muela. I have a toothache. Okay. Tiene un terrible dolor de muelas. Oh, I'm Muela. sorry. So let's see the next. What's the matter with the next? Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes. And my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay. What's the matter with hair? Uh, she has sore, sore eyes. Sore eyes. Yes. My breasts are sore. are sore. Yes, she has sore eyes and also grease, grease, right? Her grease are sore too. And what is this? Eh, le arden los ojos, ¿verdad? Le arden los ojos y también sus, sus manos de tanto escribir. So, and the teacher probably said, well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Termine de digitar su tarea después. So, nice. Any new vocabulary in this for a small conversation? Vocabulario nuevo? No. No. No, no. vocabulary? Okay, then can you help me please with the first? Can you help me in the first small conversation. Who wants to participate tonight? Two volunteers, please, for the first conversation. Sure, Sara. Sara and? Ana. Okay, you can start, please. I think I am going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Thank you. Excellent job. Sore throat. 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 Uh, let's see. For the next conversation, who wants to participate in the other conversation? Say your name, Me. please. Uh, Elias and Anna. You can start, Elias. No. Ouch. Oh my god, are you quite Alison? Not really. My back and I and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? 
I think so. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Thank you very much. Thank you. You did an excellent job. So, ouch. Oh my gosh. Are you okay, Alison? Not really. My back and my able feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, for the next small conversation, who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Say your name, please. Elena. Juliana. Elena and Juliana. Okay. You can start, Elena. Elena, ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Very, very good job. Thanks a lot. And for the last small conversation, who wants to participate? A volunteer, a victim, or a sacrifice? Victoria. Okay, Victoria. Victoria. And Vanessa. Victoria and Vanessa, please. You can start, Vanessa. Ouch. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes and my grits are sore too. Well, take a breath, a uh, break, Marta. Finish typing your home homework la later. Excellent job. Thank you very much. You did a very good job in this part. Any other volunteer to practice some of this small conversation? Me, teacher, Soveida. Okay, Soveida and? Julian, teacher. Okay, Soveida and Julian. Uh, Soveida, ¿en cuál conversación le gustaría? One, two, three, or four? Um, three, teacher. Three, conversation number three. Uh, yes. you, can, you can start, Soveida, please. Okay. Here, have an ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I am sorry. Excellent job, thank you. Yes, this word, toothache, toothache, toothache. Okay. Toothache, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So let's go. Can you please read the problem? And here are some advices, algunos consejos. So the first one says, I have a terrible headache. My back hurts. My feet are hurting me. My stomach hurts often. I have an earache. I have a toothache. So, ¿cuáles son algunos consejos? Let's say, for example, I have a terrible headache. Don't eat so much. No coma mucho. Take Don't some put aspirin. Your... Oh, take some aspirin. Yes, take some aspirin. My back hurts. Mi espalda duele. Get a massage. Get a massage. Get a massage. Yes. Get a massage. Get a massage. And my feet are hurting me. Me están doliendo los pies. Take up your shoes. Take up your shoes. ¿Ya les ha pasado que no les quedaron muy bien los zapatos? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Bueno, o los tacones, ¿verdad? Cansan a veces a las señoritas. Take off your shoes. Quítese los zapatos. Eh, my stomach hurts often. Don't eat so much. Don't eat so much. Perfect. Eh, I have an earache. I have an earache. Ear Go ache. to the dentist. Go to the dentist. Okay. Eh, really? For an earache? No. Don't, don't put your don't finger, put your in, finger, your finger ear. in your ear. Oh. Okay, excellent. Don't put your finger in your ear. 
And number six, I have a toothache. Go to the go dentist. To the dentist. The go dentist. to the dentist. Okay, so here are the answer. One C, two F, three A, three E, four A, five B, and six E. Let's see the next one. What's the matter with hair? In this picture, what's the matter with hair? Okay. We are going to say okay. she has. She has, she, has a headache. Headache. she has a headache. She has a headache. She has a headache. Excellent. What's the matter with hair? What's the matter with hair? She have a wrist. A wrist. Perdón. No, she feels stomach. This. She oh, has stomach. 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 She feels dizzy, she feels dizzy. Probably, oh, she has a headache or she has a stomach. Stomach ache. and a headache. And what's the matter with hair? What's the matter with hair? She, she has, has a cold. A cold. She has a fever. She has a flu. No, okay, she has a, the flu, she has the flu. She has yeah. the flu. And what's the matter with hair? She has a toothache. 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 Okay, let's see the next one. What's the matter with him? So we are going to say he has. What's the matter with him? He has a stomach ache. He has a stomach ache. What's the matter with him? He has, he has a backache. Back. Back. He has a backache. And what's the matter with him? He has a sore throat. He has sore. a sore throat. Excellent. Excellent. So let's see. Medicine vocabulary. This is the last thing we're going to study tonight. So here are some medicine or some medication, right? Cough syrup, cough syrup, sorry. Cough syrup, pills, capsule, aspirin, antacid, A drugs, muscle cream, and cough drops. So cough syrup is jarabe, jarabe para la tos, pills, pastillas, capsule, cápsulas, aspirin, aspirina, antacid, antiácido, a drops, gota para los ojos. Oh. Muscle cream is like cofal, right? Or marihuanol. So muscle cream, <laughs> crema para los músculos. <laughs> And cough drops, cough drops. Some gotas también para la tos, cough drops. So look at this. Whenever I have a cough, I take cough syrup. Siempre, siempre, o cuando yo tengo una gripe, yo tomo jarabe para la tos. Sorry, tos. I have a cold. Whenever I have a sore eyes, I put eyes drop. Cuando me arden los ojos, me pongo gotas. I put eyes drop. Whenever I have a stomach ache, I take antacid. Cuando tengo dolor de estómago, yo tomo antiácido. Whenever I have a fever, I take acetaminophen pills. Cuando tengo una fiebre, yo tomo acetaminophen. Y para todas las enfermedades anteriores, también acetaminophen. ¿Solo lo dejas tienen el seguro? No, 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 Multibusos, ¿verdad? Acetaminophen. We can use it. So, do you have any question about today's topic? We learn about the body parts. We learn about some common illnesses. And also, how to say when you are suffering one of these illnesses. ¿Cómo decir, verdad? Que usted está padeciendo una de esas enfermedades utilizando el verbo have. I have a stomachache. I have a toothache. I have a headache. And also this medicine vocabulary. So do you have any question? No, teacher. No question. Questions? Never. Question. Ah, the no meaning question. of whenever. The meaning of whenever is cuando. Cuando. Cuando o siempre que. 
siempre que, whenever I have a headache, siempre que tengo un dolor de cabeza, I take an aspirin. Me tomo una aspirina. Questions? No questions? No questions. In education, okay, then I want to say thank you for your puntuality, for your attention, and also for your participation. Thank you very much. And don't forget, please, to keep working on the platform exercises. That is important, right? Y si no, recuerde que le va a tocar, ¿verdad? Un día antes de la última clase, va a estar sudando ¿verdad? con todos los ejercicios de la plataforma. Entonces, no esperemos, no nos confiemos, please. Eh, vamos trabajando la uh, despacio, ¿verdad? Pero mantengámonos trabajando, resolviendo esos ejercicios. Ok. No more questions. So thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Eh, sleep well. Have a good night. Okay. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. o'clock. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. 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 bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye-bye.